Hello and welcome back to the final part of this series of videos talking about our expedition um, or trip, whichever way you look at it. And as you can see, it's just me um, because Mandy felt that she didn't really know what to talk about when I was talking about gadgets, tech and all the stuff that we're carrying in the garage. So you just got my face to look at. So let's get down to the first bits. What are we taking in the garage? So even some of the things that we're going to be carrying um, from experience, things that we've maybe broke in the past, like windscreen wipers, when you put a suction mount with the camera mount on the outside of the van to record some nice scenes and then the rain starts and you go like that and it breaks a wiper, Scotland. So yeah, that's one. Um, other things, like when we found out in the middle of Spain we had no oil, so there's some oil. Um, but mainly it's to do with things that we don't know what's going to happen. So things like 10 litre diesel jerry can, 25 litre uh, water can, a manual winch because you just never know when you're going to get stuck. Um, and obviously we haven't got the capacity to have an electric winch at the front or anything like that. So a manual winch will do the job. And it's tried and tested as well, by the way, we used to go off roading, so works all right. Tow straps as well. These have been tried and tested. So this one particularly got somebody out of the mud that you may have seen at a campsite we went to. Um, obviously these in conjunction with a winch give us a longer stretch of um, go wrap it around a tree, pull the van out, something like that. Saws and spades and pickaxe, that kind of stuff. Loads of tools and spares. Um, emergency breakdown kits, got things like breathalyzers, spare bulbs, a warning triangle, all that kind of stuff's in there. Track boards. Um, some success, some not success with these. If you're well stuck in the mud, they're not gonna get you out that well. Uh, but they are good at carving your way through the mud um, to actually like a big spade or a shovel. Um, or you can use them as a bridge over, you know, ruts in the road or something like that. And then we move on to other things, water filtration. So if we are ever in a place and we're stuck for water, um, Berkey, we've got some spare candles for it as well. Put the water through there and it gives us five liters of fresh Mm -mm, water in around about four hours or something like that um, but yeah that's more than enough for lakes and streams and stuff like that to take all the the crud out of the water and um, get some nice drinking water afterwards and uh, then we've got other things like tire repair kits so if you get a puncture we can bung the puncture um, all sorts of other stuff you know litter pickers knives all the usual stuff you've seen us use in the past we've got that as well got the bikes um, another little thing that I think everyone should carry Carabiners. A lot of the people ask us now and again, um, do you go rock climbing? No, we don't really go rock climbing. And these actually say not for rock climbing on them because they're soft aluminium, but they're great for strapping things down in the boot or strapping them in the van. We've got these on everything, including Cooper's leads and everything. So you get somewhere and you strap it around and it's done. Um, so all sorts of little things like this, really useful to carry. So because the government couldn't get the message right between the DVLA website and the government's website about travel, we've gone for both both displaying the Union Jack and then UK and GB just to make sure that we're doubly covered. The other thing as well because of where we're traveling to and the fact that our vehicle's lights are facing the wrong way and we've got these beam deflectors I've got these to stick on the lenses but what I've also got are these plastic lenses and these clip on and what I'm going to do is a separate video on this just to say with the plastic lenses they come with these black reflectors so are the black reflectors better than beam defenders? And also, because these are marked where you install the black defectors, the black deflectors, not defectors. Defectors, they're defecting, running away. Um, hopefully it'll give everybody an idea of exactly where they're supposed to place these, because I think everyone gets a bit confused with that one. So yes, in a video coming soon, I'm gonna test these to see which is best. So, everyone knows how cold I get. So after seeing, these jackets being modelled by the lovely Em and Lou on Camper Vibe. We thought we needed some too because in this little pocket here is a little pack, battery pack, and you plug your jacket in. And why would you plug a jacket in, you may ask? To make it warm is the thing. And it's got big pads all the way in the back, comes down to there. And then it's got them in the front here as well. So when you've got it zipped up, it is absolutely toasty warm. I've had this sat around campfires before now, just testing it out, and it is lovely. So hopefully this is going to help me stay nice and warm during all of the cold things that John's making me do. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, uh, he'll probably be the last because I keep blaming him. I like sunshine, but this is the adventure and this is the appropriate adventure jacket to go with it, I should think. It's good though, isn't it? Isn't it nice? Oh, it's snuggly. And I've got one as well. <laughs> Yours isn't Just, as cool as mine though. No, mine hasn't got the orangey stripes or anything, but we thought we'd both get them. So one of us isn't going to be cold and warm. So we'd both be either cold or warm. Yes. Or for example, if my battery runs out and I get cold, I can pinch Mandy's battery and be warm again. That ain't happening, pal. <laughs> I don't know where you think you're going from. I do not like cold. So this is me. If anything, I'll have yours and you'll be like, why isn't my jacket working? And I'll have like double the battery going. But the good thing I like about this as well is that it is actually, when they give it, it's a proper USB battery bank so you can charge it from there but you can also use it so I could also have a phone charger in there if I needed yeah, to. Yeah it is a proper backup really battery. Really good backup bank and as the li little light's just been flashing there I think it needs charging. So that's the garage stuff mainly dealt with obviously there's tools in there there's ladders there's all sorts of other stuff I've not really spoke about. Now let's talk about the stuff that we've kind of changed on the dash. What gadgets and tech are we adding for this trip? So here's the new setup on the dash. This is the Garmin Camper 785. It's actually got a camera on the back as well. Um, so not only is it as a dash cam and a sat nav, but it can even warn you about collision with a vehicle in front or lane departure if you're drifting around that. So that's really cool. Uh, we're still running the old system as well, but we use this one as a backup. Both systems have got full European maps for everywhere we want to go. So it's all loaded on there. Uh, we've also got the Garmin InReach Mini as well, which is going to track everywhere we go. Um, and if we are in a place with no signal and need help, we can press a little SOS button on the side there. And that uses the uh, satellite communications to get us help. So that's brilliant as well. It also means family and friends and that can track us, see where we are. And uh, we've also got a, um, a nice little CB radio installed as well with an aerial on the roof. So we can keep in touch with the other people on our convoy as well. And that's just down there on a clip, so that's out of the way. So that's the dash set up now. <laughs> um, obviously we've got the reversing camera up there as well, but there's a second reversing camera that comes in there. Uh, this screen just looks straight down, whereas that one's like a rear view mirror kind of screen. And we've got the original there, we've got the original next base dash cam as well. So that's two dash cams, but this one's more about safety. Um, satellite comms, normal van to van comms, uh, two satellite systems for uh, navigation, stuff like that. And obviously all our tunes and everything are loaded on there. So we've got um, Amazon Music and we've downloaded all our playlists. So even when we've got no Wi-Fi, that'll pick it all up. Now, probably one of the strangest things that we've had to buy for this trip is a printer. And that's because some of the countries are going to don't want to scan in a QR code. They won't want to look at a mobile phone with an email or a web app or something like that. They'll just want to see a printed copy. So because things change as we're out there, uh, we needed to be able to print things wherever we are. Some countries, that's going to be great. Some of the times you need to be in a big town or city to find places that you can print. And we want to try and avoid that as much as possible on our trip. We just want to go out there and explore countryside and rural locations and mountains and seasides and stuff like that. We don't want to go into anywhere that's city centre or anything like that. So it meant if we, for example, needed to provide um, COVID stuff and they weren't all right with the QR code on the app, um, then we'd have to print it out and that changes every 30 days. So potentially that's going to change nine times while we're away therefore just bought a printer and it's actually a really good printer as well uh, it's got a battery pack in there um, you charge it off mains but obviously it's all right we've got uh, mains in the van um, but yeah charge off the battery so you can use it wherever quality is really good as well so um, yeah quite happy about the printer and it is going to help us get around quite a few issues that we were struggling with at the time um, mainly like i said because we don't want to go into a city center and find a shop to print something out from a phone email or something like that so we just picked these bad boys up, uh, some upgrades to our fans. I know we're going to some cold countries, but we're going to some hot countries as well. Uh, they're fans, turn them in any direction you want. They're USB rechargeable and they clamp on things as well as just sitting there like that. Like I say, you can put it in any position you want. Uh, variable speed control as well. So they work absolutely great. You can clamp them on whatever you want and get fresh air whenever you want. But press this button and they're oscillating as well how cool is that 
So hopefully they're going to keep us nice and cool in all the hot countries we're going to get to. Because we're going to hot countries, aren't we? Yeah. So links down in the video description now. Um, I have put this one up on Instagram a few days ago. So um, if they're out of stock, I'll try and put a couple of links. Um, but if you do want to see the stuff that we buy, I'll probably put links on Instagram when we buy it. So um, you can get to it sooner that way. Because I know sometimes people say they've sold out already. Now, obviously, where we're going isn't the back end of beyond for the majority of the trip. And we've got the gear to get us out of if we get stuck anywhere, like in mud or snow or sand. And we've got communications so that we can contact somebody, no matter where we are. As far as mobile contracts and as far as everything else, what we're really just going to do is as we're in the countries and as we're experiencing things and driving around, things change or whatever, we'll just update in a video. As we drive around and we deal with you know, borders and pet passports and things like that, then we'll update all that in a video as well. So we're just going to log everything that we find that's going to be useful to you guys. Fuel prices, the availability of LPG, all that kind of stuff will all be in our regular vlogs that are going to come out once we actually start traveling. So to make sure you don't miss any videos, do make sure that you subscribe. Ding that little bell that pops up when you subscribe and click on all notifications so that hopefully then YouTube will let you know when we put a video out and you won't miss anything that's going on. Right, thanks very much guys, and um, hopefully next time you'll see us both together. She is coming, I promise. She's just taking Coop out on the beach at the moment. Right, take care then. See you soon. Bye.